All right, guys, this is problem number three in the topic of dry docking uh, for the advanced ship stability. All right, so I have previously taken a couple of simple problems in the topic of dry docking uh, so that you get used to understanding the concepts and the terms used. And this one will be slightly uh, complicated, uh, a slightly advanced problem in this area. So let's get started with this question. So I hope you've seen those couple of videos. Otherwise, I'll give you the links to those videos in the description section below. So let's start with the problem. Um, there is a vessel which is at anchor and the forward and the aft drafts are given in seawater. The kg of the vessel and the free surface moment of the vessel is also given. During low water, the depth of the water around the ship is expected to drop to 5.5 meters. Assuming that the seabed is absolutely horizontal, you have to find the virtual GM at low water. So this stands for low water. Alright, so there is a vessel which is at anchor, the drafts are given, the kg of the vessel and the free surface moment of the vessel is given. During low water, the depth of the water around the ship is expected to drop to 5.5 meters. Assuming that the seabed is horizontal, you have to find the virtual GM at low water. So that in this question itself, if you see that uh, there is a talk of virtual GM, that means there will be an apparent loss of GM. So GM will actually not be lost, but it will be apparently you will feel as if it's losing because at low water, the ship may touch the seabed. So as soon as it touches the seabed, it becomes a situation similar to the dry dock. So I'll show you some couple of diagrams below that I've drawn. Hopefully it will help you to understand the uh, point better. So let's let's get started with the solution. The first thing you have to do is you have to use the forward and the aft drafts given to you to calculate the trim. So trim is nothing but aft draft minus forward draft. So 6.7 minus 4.9 will give you 1.8 meters per stern. Then you can calculate the mean draft. Mean draft is nothing but forward draft plus aft draft divided by 2. So 4.9 plus 6.7 gives you 5.8 meters of mean draft. Once you have the trim and the mean draft, you can go into the hydrostatic tables. And for the mean draft of 5.8 meters, find out the AF. What is AF? AF is nothing but the distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular. So go into the not, uh, tables here. And you can see for the draft of 5.8 meters, all you have to do is find the AF, which will be somewhere around 71.586. Alright, so that's the value I've used here, 71.586. Then you can find the correction that you can apply to the aft draft to get your initial hydrostatic draft. The formula for that is AF multiplied by trim divided by length between perpendicular. So if you are thinking I have got the AF here and I have got the trim from here, where is the LBP or length between perpendicular from? Well, if you go back to the hydrostatic tables, you can see that the length between perpendicular is given at the bottom here, this here. That is 140 meters. All right, just in case you didn't see, 140 meters is the length between perpendicular. So you can use that length and then you can find out the correction value to the aft draft so that you can get the initial hydrostatic draft by applying the correction to the aft draft which in this case is 5.780 meters is the resultant initial hydrostatic draft. Now let me show you with some diagrams on what I was talking about earlier. Now this is a hydrostatic draft right so at low water when the depth of water is 5.5 meters you can see that the vessel this is the vessel and the depth of the water is 5.5 meters at low water. So in this case the hydrostatic draft will also become equal to 5.5 meters as you can see in the drawing itself. So that means the vessel will then touch the bottom because if the hydrostatic draft is 5.78 meters definitely at 5.5 meters the vessel will sink further and sit on the seabed. So there will be a loss of the displacement or apparent loss of the displacement because part of the weight of the ship will now be taken up by the seabed. So in this case you can obtain your KM 
from the hydrostatic table so this is what it's showing that you can see if this is the seabed at 5.5 meters at least part of the ship or maybe the stern of the ship here is now sitting on the seabed the forward part may not all right because the why is that because the stern trim the aft trim was more than the forward trim so definitely as soon as the level of the water or the depth of the water drops to 5.5 meters the aft will sit first before the forward does right because the aft draft was more so aft draft will reduce from 6.7 meters to 5.5 meters hence the hydrostatic draft would be less than 5.5 meters so let's see how so for an initial hydrostatic draft of 5.78 meters that we calculated above remember we calculated the initial hydrostatic draft here is 5.78 meters now initial hydrostatic draft of 5.78 meters we will find out the displacement the mctc and the af the distance of the center of rotation from the aft perpendicular all right how do we do that well we can just go into the tables again and what we can do is we can find out the value of 5.6 and 5.8 we'll use these values to calculate displacement mctc and af all right so we'll get these values and then we'll simply interpolate it to get the values of displacement mctc and af for a hydrostatic draft of 5.78 all right so you can calculate for 5.6 and 5.8 i'll show you one example and then you can do the same for the rest of it all right so for 5.6 and 5.8 you have the displacement 11223 and 11672 so 11223 and 11672 so you need to find the displacement for 5.78 meters right this is displacement so all you have to do is basically for a difference of 0 0.2 meters which is 5.8 minus 5.6 the difference in the displacement will be 11672 minus 11223 which is equal to 449 all right this is difference between 11672 minus 11223 so for a difference of 0 0.18 which is the difference between 5.78 minus 5.6 what will be the difference in the displacement well 5.78 minus 5.6 is 0 0.18 multiplied by 449 so this goes here and this comes here divided by 404.1 so this 404.1 you will add to the displacement for 5.6 and you get 11627.1 so that's how you interpolate to get the values of displacement mctc and af all right so now when we have done that you have to see that to sit overall for the vessel to sit overall on the seabed p which is the transfers which is the thrust not transfers but thrust that acts upwards from here this is p as soon as the vessel touches first touches a seabed there will be a force acting upwards uh, equal to the weight of the ship taken by the seabed that p is equal to trim multiplied by mctc divided by af so trim is given to you mctc you know is this here af you know as well right so just put those values in so in this case p will be equal to 430.3 tons now because part of the weight of the ship is taken by the seabed there will be a loss of the displacement or apparent loss of the displacement which will be equal to w minus p which is 11627.1 minus 430.3 which is equal to 11196.8 so this is now the apparent value of the displacement so from the hydrostatic tables for a displacement value of 11196.8 tons you have to find the hydrostatic draft so how do you do that basically go into the hydrostatic table you know that triple one nine six point eight lies between 
multiple 196.8 lies between these two values right 100 1077 and 11223 so you note down these two drafts go back here and you can see for a displacement of 1077 the draft is 5.4 and for a displacement of 11223 draft is 5.6 so for a displacement of triple one nine six point eight, what will be the draft? So for a difference of one one two two three minus one zero triple seven is zero point two. This is five point six minus five point four. What will be it for one 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 nine six point eight minus one zero triple seven? All right, simply add the two, and what you get is point. 0.18 so this 0.18 you add to 5.4 you get 5.58 all right and that's the hydrostatic draft once the part of the vessel touches the seabed now 5.588 as you see in the drawing is the depth at which the ship would sit completely on the seabed Hence, when depth of water reduces further to 5.5 meters at low water, the ship's bottom is still touching the seabed. All right, but at hydrostatic draft of 5.5 meters from the hydrostatic tables, displacement equals 11,000 tons and km equals 8.417. How did we get that? Well, because for 5.4, these were the displacement and the km values. For 5.6 also we've got the values so for 5.5 because it lies between 5.4 and 5.6 just add the two values and divide it by 2 you get the values all right so that's how I got the displacement and km values for 5.5 so I've got these displacement and km values so at low water loss of displacement will be from 116.7.1 to 11,000 so this is from 5.588 meters of hydrostatic draft to 5.5 meters draft at low water so you can see you will further lose the displacement because as the vessel as the water level drops further vessel will sit more on the seabed all right it will sit completely on the seabed it will lose more weight apparent weight because more of the weight of the ship will now be taken by the seabed and not it will not be floating in the water all right hence p which is the apparent loss of the weight of the vessel as soon as it sits on the seabed will be the difference between the two displacements which is equal to 6 to 7.1 ton all right then gm solid will be equal to km minus kg km that we have calculated from here for 5.5 meters and kg which is given to us in the question and we have a gm solid of 1.417 meters to this we apply the free surface correction which is applied found by dividing free surface movement given to us in the question given in the question divided by the new displacement of 11,000 11,000 is displacement at 5.5 at low water which is equal to 0 0.100 this is the free surface correction so gm fluid will be equal to gm solid minus free surface correction so your gm fluid will be 1.317 meters now all you have to do is find the virtual loss of gm so your virtual loss of gm can be found by two formulas formula a or formula b so you can see this is formula a and this is formula b you have all the values all you have to do is just put in the values so in one the displacement is the displacement after the vessel sits completely on the seabed at 5.5 meters and the other one you there is a, it is assumed that the displacement is not lost so the displacement that we take will be at 5.588 hydrostatic draft and therefore we use km all right so put in the values here you get the virtual loss of gm this virtual loss of gm you will apply to the gm fluid that you found here once you apply your virtual loss of gm then you can find the virtual gm when the vessel is sitting on the seabed 
at low water of hydrostat or draft 5.5 meters all right so gm fluid minus virtual loss will be equal to the virtual gm and that is what you have to find in the question so i hope uh, this was not too complicated for you guys i try to keep it simple try to explain every step but if you have any questions uh, just feel free to contact me and just let me know all right thanks guys and i'll see you soon with my next video and i'll take up some more questions on dry docking so that you can understand uh, how different questions are solved all right bye